Loki Season 2's finale is massive for the MCU as well as for Loki who's found his ultimate glorious purpose. While saving the TVA, Marvel's Loki Season 2 has ended with an absolutely major finale, having huge ramifications for the MCU as well as for Loki. Case in point, Loki has become a brand new hero, one that has become integral to the stability of the entire Marvel multiverse. Furthermore, it seems Loki has finally discovered what his ultimate glorious purpose truly is. As seen in Loki Season 2, Loki and the TVA were grappling with the aftermath of He Who Remains Death and the resulting influx of new branch timelines it created. This put intense strain on Temporal Loom which was meant to weave the various branches together into the sacred timeline. Having gained control over his new affliction known as Time Slipping, the ending of Loki Season 2's finale features a drastic change to the status quo in several different ways. How Loki Saved the Multiverse After spending literal centuries learning all he could and continually trying to use OB, and Victor Timely's throughput multiplier to stabilize the Temporal Loom, Loki discovered that the problem would persist unless he who remains and the TVA was allowed to exist as it had been. However, Loki chose to break the loop and change the equation, intentionally destroying the temporal loom while using his powers to save all the branch timelines, becoming a new god as a new and living temporal loom in the multiverse. Where is Ravana Renslayer? Loki Season 2's finale also revealed the fate of Ravana Renslayer who had been pruned in the previous episode. Waking up in the void at the end of time, Ravana seems to now be trapped along with its guardian seen in Loki Season 1. The TVA's new goal is tracking Kang variants. In the wake of Loki's sacrifice, it seems the TVA's new mission is now to be on the lookout for He Who Remains variants. This includes the exiled Kang seen in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania whom Mobius references in the Loki Season 2 finale. What happens to Mobius after the Loki Season 2 ending? Choosing to take a temporary hiatus from work at the TVA, Mobius finally visits and observes his original life on the Sacred Timeline. Choosing to let time pass by Mobius wants to look at everything the TVA is working to protect in the multiverse. Where is Sylvie going after Loki Season 2? At the same time, it's revealed in Loki's Season 2 finale that Sylvie is looking forward to enjoying her newfound freedom. This may mean that she may do more than simply work at McDonald's as she had been. So long as she still has he who remains temporal device, she could easily go on a journey throughout the various timelines if she wished. Having told Mobius that she's going to do whatever she wants, there are several possibilities for Sylv's future now that she truly has freedom thanks to Loki's sacrifice in this new MCU show.